at the age of eight years my father was a polygamist he had a lot of women so we moved from the stepmother to the other and at the age of eight years old my stepmom said she went to church and they told her that because of her stepdaughter she's unable to give birth so she dropped me out of the house at the age of eight I went to stay at the Roman Catholic Church cleaning the church and at the age of 10 the Roman father there raped me I left the church with blood crying with no help and as I walk outside a woman selling on the street saw me crying and took me in the woman was living in the market's place it's a market in Ghana community one it's a market no house there nothing and I will help the woman sell every day and I will sleep in the marketplace I became a kayayo if you know who a kayayo is I dropped from class 6 I didn't go to school again no help as I was carrying things for people to eat the woman's son who was living with her also raped me at age 13 I ended up at the nightclubs at 13 I had to go and buy weed and crack for the prostitutes they would send me to go and buy the cracks but something just withheld me from injecting it but I would do that and I reached 14 I would sometimes sell myself to sleep with men to eat I didn't know my mom till 17 my dad never looked for me and I started dating guys upon guys I don't want to. and one of the guys at the age of 16 I met went to Royal House Chapel on 31st December and took me we were going to go to the nightclub he took me to church first and as the man of God was preaching about rapture in heaven I gave my life to Christ I was the only one who went forward and Reverend Sapkranchaka looked at me and said you will be a star and a testimony that many would look up to I started preaching in the trotro and buses I would preach from Kaneshi to Santa Maria to Santa Maria and to Awoshi and I would get down and they would give me money to eat while I was preaching a lady met me in the bus and said don't you go to school I said no I don't have any education background don't you work I say no I am a marketing director for Jesus I preach and she said in my company they are looking for a salesperson but because you are able to influence people for Christ I will take you there long story short she took me there I was hired as a sales representative at BHC Motors where they sell Chrysler and Jeep whilst I was selling there I collided with American Embassy Consular I served him sold a car to him two months later he came back he said lady because of your service I want you to come and visit my country American Embassy gave me a free diplomatic visa I came to America with no education but I entered into DeVry University listen I dropped out from class 6 and I completed my university degree. I skipped JSS. I skipped SSS. I came to University of DeVry. I completed. I got married. I brought a woman to my house. And the woman took over my marriage. And I became homeless. I ended up on the streets of America sleeping under the steps. I took a whole bottle of paracetamol that was brought to me that I should die. The government took my children from me. The nanny took over my house. She's the stepmother of my family now. They took my kids. I was back on the streets again. 2017. But I took the medicine that God, if only you would let me die. Why should I struggle like this? It's not my fault that I came to the counter world. I was there and I collided with another CEO. She he looked at me and said, what do you do? I said, I don't have anything. I only have the university graduate degree. He said, I'm hiring you with my company as an auditor. I didn't have any background in auditing. 
they hired me as IT auditor. I went. Long story short, today I own my own big home. I can buy anything I want to buy. I work for the US government. I am an IT manager. Listen to me. I can buy anything I want to buy. Why am I sharing this? And it's not of him that will let or him that runneth. But it is the Lord that showeth mercy.